in OKC. These two teams are going to battle again here at Nacon Center on Monday night as well. This is the front end of a doubleheader day here. He wants to put an exclamation point on it. He puts that ball down hard. Blue working against that man-to-man -man defense so far. We'll see if that continues for the Spurs. Johnson got caught up in the air on that in pain as he's hobbling back in transition. Got into position to make the deflection on the entry pass, and that's going to lead to a run out. He's able to sprint ahead. Flagler misses the layup, and Saar is able to finish off the play, but... Kind of got shaken up on that play a little bit. Sometimes the amount that that can surprise you when you're not expecting to step incorrectly can really uh, shake you up. How about Lindy Waters the third steps into a three? Guys with the Oklahoma City Blue, guys with the, the Thunder, that includes coaches and scouts and personnel. And that means just more people to learn from. And, and for a young player to kind of take that attitude, buzzer beating game winner over Memphis earlier in the year. That was back the beginning stage of the season. How about DJ from behind the arc? And this is a and once again, the Blue are going to have numbers. Let's see if anything materializes from it. It's Flagler on the right side. Attacks and misses, but Saar puts it back with authority on a two-hand slam. Blue got a stop on the other end, so nice job by both defenses here, but even better offense on that triangular passing by Flagler to Johnson to Saar for yet another dunk. Olivier Saar with 13-8 and eight on 5-6 of six shooting already. The blue defense to offense and sharing the ball with one another down in the paint. Star with another board. Here's Flagler on the move. Up to Johnson for an alley. Slam and what a finish in transition. Playing a little bit more is the Spurs usually don't give up stuff around the rim, but this is OKC Blue basketball as Deontay Johnson goes up top. Tough start shooting wise for Jang, but he's got it again on the wing. Attacks, drops off to Star and finds. The bucket at the rim. There's another assist for Usman Jengis. The analytics experts will tell you it's not as efficient as a three or something at the rim by Diakite there. 46-44, Shackelford going to try his hand at a, at a three. And what goes around comes around. First he hits Waters, shoots from behind the three-point line. He can stretch it. Made one earlier. And some church Jabari Rice with that Really tough floater in lane, plus the foul. 10 seconds to go, it's Sissoko out top. Maldonado's tracking him. Cross court, one-handed dish into the corner for Rice, and he holds the follow through on the main three. He's able to find a cutter. And Flagler, who got fouled. Johnson, very tough step back jumper on the baseline, but he 95-86. This is OKC Blue basketball. Johnson had to save it from falling out of bounds. Now Waters pushes, quick hit. Desar gets it right back. What a beautiful play there by the Blue. Just totally shook the defender. Made Waters made his man think he was going to cut right through the lane, and then just bounced back behind the three-point line. That's five made threes for Waters in the game. Been a bit quiet this afternoon. Finds Johnson though, who's not been quiet. And Johnson thought about shooting the three from the same spot. Instead, decided to get all the way to the rack and finish with the right finger roll. And the Blues really got the Spurs offense to stagnate here. A nice back cut really bailed them out because prior to that, there was no movement on that play. Spurs trying to play five out here as they pulled Diakite way above the three-point line, trying to free up Duke for a three-point chance. And that one is good. The third made three. And this has been indicative of this entire game. It's just been that close. Shackelford with a step back three. He just put his man to sleep. Shackelford nearly paid it off. Gets the miss, dishes to McConnell, who goes up and tips in his own bucket. Huffle plays a bound right now for the OKC Blue. He's not out here trying to score 20 points a game. He's just trying to play excellent defense, trying to be an energetic player. You see him come across there. He gets whistled for the foul, but he was in the right spot. And the Spurs win the tip and get the run out. That was not how the Blue drew that up at all. He's, you know, on the other side of his guys, but he tips it forward. Very clever play and something that, you know, is a great learning opportunity. 6'11", 7 foot area, about 240 pounds. Now Jang on the catch for three, he nails it. And missed a couple off the bounce this time. 
He caught it in rhythm, just like target practice, and knocked it down. So Usman Jang gives the blue its biggest lead of the game so far, 100 to 86. Again, that goes back to earlier on in the game when Usman finally saw that shot. Six misses at the free throw line by the Austin Spurs. Tough inbound pass, and that's going to get stolen by McCoy. That is a very difficult place to inbound the ball from. He just left vulnerable, and it results in two quick points. Another set of free throws earlier. Watson attacks baseline and scores in the reverse layup. Opportunity down there, and there was another opportunity, another opportunity. The guys did not quit. They were consistent. And they get Water's going to get another second chance. This is the possession that will never end for the OKC Blue as Johnson gets the reload three and knocks it down. And a big time lead broken out now. Keeping it in the family here. Jang attacks, goes up top. The French connection once again as Jang goes above the rim. Johnson attacks baseline, blows past Diakite, flips up the layup off the glass and in. 22 points, eight rebounds, two assists, six of 10 from the three-point line. And now Shackleford with the steal. He's gonna get out and run for an easy lefty layup. And all David Duke Jr. can shake his head there. Not just about going to college and making a name for yourself there. 120 to 96, the blue leads. Duke goes way up high for a one-handed slam. Took care of business in that second half. Held the Austin Spurs to just 39 points in the second half, scored 62 itself.